It's, it's meet your They're friend. just gonna have the sexy oh. time. Oh. Like the servants are like, la la la. His upper lip was like sweating. That was like perfect. <laughs> Go upstairs. <laughs> no. Action. What's up, YouTube? I'm Zachary. I'm Lucy. Natasha. I'm Anisha. Normal. And this is Actors Watching Actors. If you couldn't tell from the title, we're all actors, and on this channel, we watch actors, aka we react to and review TV shows and films. Today, we'll be reacting to Bridgerton Season 1, Episode 6, Swish, directed by Julie Ann Robinson and written by Sarah Dollard. But before we get started, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, share with your friends and family, and if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to further support the channel and gain access to early and uncut reactions, including Bridgerton, the link to join our Patreon is in the description box. All right, y'all, so swish. Last episode swish. ended with a bang, literally. Uh, ha, ha. Uh, so are y'all ready for this episode? I'm ready, because I think it's just gonna be a swish, got them. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we already on that, we're, we're already getting there. Yeah. We're into married life now. Now? Yeah, you mentioned it gets way more sexual, so I'm like, is Swish a sexual thing that I don't understand? I honestly, <laughs> all the other titles, I kind of like remember what, I have no idea what Swish okay. means or Same. is referring to. Swish. Wait. Every time I think of Swish, I think of basketball. Yeah, yeah, same. Mm -hmm. But so, I don't think they go, ah, ah, yeah. ah. Maybe it like, is ah. a, this new game that has been invented. Right? Oh, but like, what is it, Swish? Cause what's equivalent to like a like swish like, like a score that could be real nasty. Yeah, too. like just swish yeah. in general. Like swish squish like that kind of thing. <laughs> <go. laughs> swish squish. Uh, but what what else? Well, where do we leave off? Other than yeah. you know the bang, the bang. and the marriage. Um, um, oh, there are maybe another marriage on the on the on, on the, the way. on deck with, with the uh, Colin team. and mm -hmm. uh, Colin what's her and... name? Trigger? Oh, no, no, not Trigger. The pregnant girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mar Marina? Yeah, Marina. Yeah, Marina. that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Good. The little yeah. business we watched. Penelope the and Eloise fighting, I think. Oh, they made oh, up, yeah, I yeah. think. No, no, no. no. They, they like saw oh, each no, other they at the got... wedding and then they Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Again, so they're still... Oh, and then the queen wants to know her <gasps> leads on who... Um, oh, on who yeah. his, uh, Lady Whistledown is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and the queen's husband. We saw that. Oh, that was sad. Very sad. I'm like, I got an idea. Maybe it's like... Cause remember, what's her name, Marina? Marina, yeah. yeah. She's like trying to like, you know. Oh yeah, like she, she yeah, did it. It could be. Oh, it could because be. you know she's out here trying to, mm -hmm. you know, get a prospect at this point. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, it could, it could have to deal with be. her. Yeah, it could be that. Like she could score on somebody. Oh, because know, she's trying to college. seduce him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tree girl bounced, right? Mm -hmm. She like, she 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 had, she had. or at least that's what the lady said. Oh yeah, she's and gone. speaking of the lady, the fake French woman, she's like she, her, and that other guy's wife uh, were with the other Bridgerton at the party. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. all the, the second born. The second yeah, stuff. the one who had the stuff with that guy, but then he with the uh, with the late. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was. We'll see what happens. It could be sword fighting too, but I don't Swish. know. It could be. Yeah, I, we had a duel. Maybe we get a sword fighting. Oh yeah. Who knows? Swish. We'll see. She's we'll not see. giving me enough. I, I need, need one more word. Okay. okay. All right. Any other thoughts? Any other guesses? That's, That's all my guesses. Let's watch okay. it. Let's get okay. It. Let's get into season one, episode six of Bridgerton. Swish. Duke and Duchess of Hastings. Congratulations and They're probably already Nike. Is it Nike? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> talking of the honeymoon. It's so green. I love it. Yeah. Vibrant. Aesthetic. Yes. May I introduce you? The Duchess of Hastings. Aww. Aww the Duchess of Hastings. I'm looking forward to making your acquaintance, Mrs. Colson. Thank you, Your Grace. Why oh, she's gonna be drunk? I planned everything to make you both comfortable. I have plans of my own for my new bride. Oh, oh my! Bride. Let's get it up. <laughs> wow! Oh, this hey, you thought your home was nice. Yeah. She's like, I'm rich. Show you the bedroom. <laughs> Stop! She'll see. Whatever will they think? Does it matter? 
<laughs> He's like, I'm married now. I wonder what Daphne's doing at this very moment. I'm sure she has many other duties to attend to as Duchess. No duties, yeah. 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 For your day, being. The Queen herself has charged me with discovering Mr. Dale's identity, and you would not have me cross Her Majesty March. Pray, may I have everyone's attention? Hello? I would like to make a small but rather important announcement. I have asked Miss Marina Thompson to be my wife, and she has accepted. She said she did it. The other ones might have been in the background. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, scary to remember. Did you know about this? Obviously not. People are looking to congratulate the happy couple. You barely know the young lady. What on earth were you thinking? I was thinking you would probably respond like this and how little I would care uh, to hear. Do you think this is a joke? <laughs> Poor mother was beside herself. Mother seems perfectly happy to me. She congratulated us. Boy, mm. nice with you. So I'm naive. You compromised this young lady? Certainly not. I should have taken you to brothels when you returned uh, home from Eton. So if this is simply a matter of wetting your wick. <laughs> you really are an ass. Do you know that? This is what comes of not sowing your wild oats. Proposing to the first chick you said you were Wedding. Wedding. Enough. So he is what? A wedding you insult me oh. and you insult my intended. It is not my fault, nor Marina's, that you cannot fathom true attachment. Oof. You were still a child, Colin. I'm older than Daphne, and you were happy to marry her. It is not the same. Hmm. You know it. I know nothing of this. Then you betray your immaturity. I do not require your permission to marry Miss Thompson, but I would very much prefer to have your blessing. Is he the brother that went to the painter and then? No, no. that's the other one. You have. Oh, that's the older one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's, he's, he's the third one. Mm -hmm. So he's the one that was went painting. They go by names. No, around. there's three. Yeah, there's three. So there's the, the second, the second went painting, which was neither one of those yeah. two. Yeah. That one's Colin. So A, B, C. He's the third one. And then there's D. Daphne getting that D. <laughs> <laughs> Great timing. They have told us what it was truly like. However, would we get anything else done at all? <laughs> they are obsessed with each other. Time to be Duchess of all of this. I must start learning the lie of the land. Mm, you are already Duchess of all this. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to exploring that particular land further. Later. <laughs> Simon! <laughs> Mrs. Coulson shall always resent me if I do not take her tour. I'll let that resent. No, you don't want to. Mm. I shall do nothing of the sort. I must make a good impression. Oh, nothing in this house should one I don't know how I feel yet about nude scenes. For you or them? For me. Mm. And I wish you well. I'm open to it for the right thing. Yeah. Like, it's not a hard no, but it's not an easy yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always um, remember I what Amelia Clark from Daenerys from Game just of Thrones said. Like, she said, I won't do it just to do it, but if it keeps disarray. the story going, care. then I'll do then it. I'll do it. Counting. My younger sister Hyacinth is something of a student of history. Very well, Your Grace. Here we are. She doesn't seem to like her. Where the former she's done. late. She's to take tea well, you business. can tell by the hair. You know, she's real tight. I extended invitation to the vicar first. I believe she is right. You know, those, those pen curls well, are getting very much I um, look stern forward to and hosting uptight. our first ball. I shall look at redecorating this room first. You wish to redecorate? Certainly, Your Grace. She's not liking anything. There's to be a fair. Mm -hmm. in the White House, uh -huh. I took the liberty of offering it patronage on your behalf. Most thoughtful of you, Mrs. Coulson. Perhaps we might give the servants some time off to attend as well. There is much to be done now that the Duke and yourself are in residence. Oh, well, even more reason to allow them some respite then. Mm. Of course, Your Grace. Is that the former Duchess? Yes. She was beautiful. Thoughtful too. Most proper. Mm. Is this one from Duchess. the beginning one? Yeah, same as mine. Yeah. Oh, I like that look. I don't like that look either. Mm hmm Oh. Oof. The nursery. The deep cut. <laughs> but they'll never use it. Your Grace? This is lovely. Mm. Should we move on? Mm. My apologies, I... Are we expecting royalty? <laughs> Begging your pardon, Your Grace, the late Duke preferred a formal table. But if you... No. Have... Is anything wrong? <laughs> you're, you're so far away. Yeah. Well, well, that is easily remedied. 
They're gonna be shook. It's no trouble, Trudy. <laughs> They're like, oh. There now, much better, yes. <laughs> Ooh, she didn't like that. Make the table much shorter. I thought perhaps to redecorate a few rooms, but I wish to talk to you. You must have fond memories. Mm. Mm, of if she only knew. Sentimental mm -hmm. attachments. Do what you will. Paper the drawing room in flamingo pink tool. I'm sure I shall love it. You do know you need not dress so formally here. This is meet your They're friend. just gonna have no sexy oh. time. Oh. Like the servants are like, la la la. Oh my gosh. His upper lip was like sweating. <laughs> that was like perfect. <laughs> Go upstairs. Right. No. The wrist was risque. <laughs> just Everyone have sex laughing, on the lawn. Like, risque. <laughs> oh my gosh, what are they, they, they doing? Like They're you just gonna have know. sex um, out in the open. You never had his tree girl. In the rain. So romantic. Yeah. They're gonna, and then they get pneumonia and die because it's the olden days. <laughs> yeah, Dang, right. Natasha. They're pretty close to their death age anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the sex that they were talking about, Natasha. This is not sex or tea. We've already watched them have sex twice. <laughs> Did we? Well, we saw the after. Well, we saw Simpson? the after, man. Yeah. Shouldn't you know? Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying attention to it. I'm looking She's at like, the sex. She's like, I'm not listening to the song. <laughs> Yeah, that's my song. It's Wildest Dreams. <laughs> it's one of my favorites! <laughs> See, there goes the Swifty in her. <laughs> no, I'm never gonna forget the scene. Great. <laughs> the touching. <laughs> They're like, really like to make the scenes long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's part of like what they say with this show. Oh my well. gosh! <laughs> Oh my gosh! I'll say it after. <laughs> this is this is a real like sex scene for real for real. Oh yeah. Yep. Pull out game still strong. <laughs> Does that hurt? Oh. Oh, I knew. I feel as you feel. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Does that hurt? <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, but they were saying like the sex scenes in the show are more about the female gaze than the mm -hmm. male gaze And I feel like that's why they're longer because like you generally when it's sure. like male gaze, it's like pump 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 done And it's just like the guy, you know, yeah, they're, exactly. doing oh, they're doing it somewhere else that's And then the servants are just like la, 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 la. This is more about her experience than Look at the swan And the pump pump that you Oh, the new, you, okay, 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 okay. <gasps> We're just sitting here and yes. oh my God. Her pleasure <laughs> The servants are just like, la la la. They're doing it again. Nah, there she goes. She's adapted that real quick. Does it matter? <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> she gonna hate this. She's like, these young kids. Mm -hmm. Sex I don't know gosh. if he's going to be able to do what he's been doing though, and then. He'll be like, oh no, we might have a son. You doubt King pull out? <laughs> yeah. I knew you were a Swifty, Ramon. You recognized it before me. The the melody, it's all over the radio. I've never heard this, but I don't listen to the Hold radio. Hold on, you I'm forced to, because I've left. She been having her hair pulled right. enough. You gotta right, be gentle. Are quite spirited. <laughs> <laughs> I admit, I did not even know it was possible. I believed his physical inability to, to have children would preclude him. Just give it back. Oh, good morning. Good morning, brother. Colin, your engagement is in Whistwood Hyacinth. What? It is. Mother, I have been courting Miss Thompson all season. Perhaps you were so taken up by Daphne you failed to see it. I knew you were flirting with her, but you flirt with plenty of young ladies. You always have. No one ever takes me seriously, except Marina. I was not prepared to let another of you fly the nest so soon. Mm. Have a fear, Mother. You will still have your hands full. Especially with Eloise. I'm sure all of our fortunes are about to change. Mm. <laughs> Especially Collins. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh. You look very lovely it today, Candy. Don't mock me. Oh. Wow. It pains me you should think every compliment a mockery. Do not pity me either. Mm. I rely on your continued friendship and sympathy. My continued silence, you mean? Mm. Mm. 
You think so little of me, I cannot bear it. I would never bring scandal on you or our family, if that is what you ask. But I cannot condone your actions. Marina, time for the Modiste. We must see to your trousseau. They're gonna notice. Bump, bump. Yeah, I feel like I even see a little something. Lady Bridgerton. There you are. Lady <laughs> honestly, those dresses that they wear, they all look pregnant. It's lovely to see you, Lady Bridgerton. They're like... You must call me Violet now. Baby doll dresses. This is not just delightful. To know now that our families will be joined forever. Mm. Uh, yes, it certainly is something. <laughs> you must join us tomorrow night. I do apologize, Lady Fetherington. But first, there is a matter of your account. Mm. I was clear to your maid that you were in the court. Allow me to stop mm. you there. Madame Delacroix. That reminds me, you have such a unique accent, and yet I've never asked where in France you're from. Ma mère est française, vous avez. Et je ne suis pas bonne, pas votre numéro. I believe Madame Delacroix will be somewhat more amenable to our requests now, Lady Featherington. Très bon. Très bon. <laughs> Yo, she's je Okay, she could be your mama, like. Yeah, she plays her. The Duke has granted me the honor of opening our village fair with this contest. It is after careful consideration that I have decided that all three pigs have tied. I hereby decree every pig such a winner that none should be slaughtered. But we're hungry. But we're hungry. You don't even eat pig. <laughs> the harvest on the farm have been poor. And with the rents being tripled, we are struggling to put food on the table. The rents tripled. My steward did not inform me. He hasn't shown his face since your father passed. I'm sure we can find a solution to these difficulties. And I thank you for bringing them to our attention. Good grief. Oh. Oh. oh, there, there, there. Child, no need to cry. Why you have a strong set of lungs? They sure hear you all the way in London. If not all the way to France. <laughs> thank you, my goodness. I must apologize, your grace. Oh, please stand. You should not be stooping in your condition. I did not realize my absence would be felt this way. I hope yeah. that... I only meant to say, I hope it did not pain you too much to see me with those children. Pain me? Daphne, I thought only of you. You know, my abundant family will be good for at least one thing in future. Eventually, they will all marry and have children of their own, and we will have more screaming infants in our lives than we know what to do with. <laughs> you will be a splendid aunt. It thrills me that you are satisfied with our married life as it is. Just the two of us. I have all that I want just here. How did I earn such luck? That I do not know. You're like, now let's have sex in this field. Oh gosh. Um, Not again. You gotta break in the whole town, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Until she learns that they, they are able to have children. I don't like that. That feels a little like. Ahem. <clears throat> I've intuited. <laughs> Swish. Oh, oh there's Swish. Swish. Oh. oh good. This plan of yours, I find it wanting. Deceiving Colin is one thing, but being at close quarters with his mother, that is quite another. Lady Bridgerton is shrewd. She has had eight children. Trust she knows when she's being managed. <laughs> Mr. Bridgerton, you might even make the most of this fine weather that we've been having if you choose to marry sooner rather than later. Mm. Girl, Colin is still very young. Too thick. I believe a lengthier engagement would be prudent. Excellent weather notwithstanding. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Oh, oh dear, what can the matter oh. be? Oh dear, what can the <laughs> matter like be? I know what the matter be. Jade so Bowles is not good. She's not gonna claim she's not gonna sing. No. Colin, might I have a word? Mm -mm. Her heart belongs to another. What? His name is Sir George Crane. He's a first son, a soldier. They grew up in neighboring properties in the country. I am sorry, Colin, but I have seen their love letters. I felt you should know before it was too late. Hey. Do you think that I would care if she had fond feelings for another before we met? Mm. She loves him still. And yet she's marrying me. This is this kind Trust of cringe? Me, Pen, do not fret. For I know my mind, and Marie, yeah. we 
understand each other. It's putting her in a very desperate, mm-hmm. you know, reality for him. We moved party to the corridor. I cannot stand it, Colin. I truly thought that with your family, I might finally find acceptance. I am your family now. Try and seduce him now. We shall make our own family, you and me. It is all I want. I wish we could be married this very minute. Mm. Then we could be alone together always. Mm -mm. I would never have to leave your arms. Yeah, he really is green. Gretna Green. They're Vegas. I know. (laughs) It is mad. We can be married within a matter of days. I shall arrange it. He is so (laughs) green. Being played. Do you feel the baby bump? It's like oh. kind of hard, but boy. She's getting waking up, red and red, doing. He's not there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He missed our morning. Mm-mm. This is where she's gonna start wanting kids because he's always gone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. She was on the separation anxiety. Here you are. Ah. Oh, good morning, dearest. Are the steward's books? I take it. Mm. Could not sleep. Not even after last night's exertions. Mm Mm-hmm. Would you care to break your fast with me? I'm sorry, my love. The farmer in the village is right. The estates have been neglected far too long. The wheat yields are down, yet nobody has thought to use the fields for livestock grazing or rotate to a more plentiful crop. Well, is that not the steward's job? They are my tenants, my people. The responsibility is mine. Mm. Please excuse me. He's real uptight. I've been staring at these figures all morning. You wouldn't have thought he'd been getting in all these days. Well, I suppose I have a good deal to occupy myself with today, too. Mm. He don't care, girl. <laughs> At all. He's busy. He really didn't even want her to walk through the door. Do you like a basket? There's a basket from Cliveton? Mm. Oh, a basket they all from Cliveton. Yeah, they've been struggling. I feel that I've done something to offend the village. I know I'm new to the role, but I cannot imagine what I've done wrong so soon. You didn't choose a pig. What? It was the pigs. Mm. You said that all three pigs won. At the fair? When you could not choose a winner, no farmer won the contract, nor the income to go along with it. I had no idea. How could you have your grace? Mrs. Coulson, do you have a moment? I know I have made some missteps since I arrived. I'm so very grateful for your guidance, Mrs. Coulson. <laughs> she, Little flattery. The truth is, I fear the Duke might not be entirely at ease here at Cliveton. His childhood was not always easy. Oh, we did our best to take care of him, to mind him as his mother would have wanted. Of course you did. Oh. But the late Duke must have loved his wife very much, to have struggled so after her death. Nah. Was it not a happy marriage then? It was strained. He wanted an heir, she wanted a child. She kept trying long after the doctors warned her not to. It's not always the woman who is barren. Sometimes it is the man's fault, of course. Oh dear, I'm I'm afraid I'm speaking out of turn. No, not at all, Mrs. Coulson. You were saying... Well... I said to the Duchess, the mother said to me, cannot quicken without strong, healthy seed. And then, just as she was finally blessed with Master Simon, we lost her. Ah, she's plotting. She's plotting hard. Yeah. The Featherington way. It's in her blood. Mm Mm-hmm. Then she's gonna find out that the letter was fake and that he has been like writing to her, maybe. No. Maybe. Yeah. Is this the mom's room? No, it's Marina's room. Because she was just looking through Marina's bag yeah. that she's gone away with oh. Colin. She's gonna notice one of the, the signatures. Mm-hmm. The signature is probably different. Penelope, what are you? Look at the signature on Sir George's last letter and, and this one. From many months ago. So? So they are not the same. The slant of the lettering, it is all wrong. George never wrote those things to you. He never denied loving you. He never denied your child. Perhaps. Marina. Even if you are correct. I am correct. You cannot no, deny. Even if it is true, George has still not replied yeah. to my letters. 
Oh. Where's your bag packed? Tell me you're not going to Gretna Green. How do you know? Marina, she was just looking what for a bag. What will you do when oh. Colin realizes the child is not his? What I will do is live safe in the knowledge that my husband is a good and kind man. Oh. But what of him? What of Colin? Did you just shrug? <laughs> you love him. What? No, it makes sense now. Your objections, your meddling. You love Colin Bridgerton. You know not of what you speak. Um, I believe I know so much more than yeah. you, Pen. Your love is an unrequited fantasy. Mm. Colin sees you as you are and regards you no differently than he does Eloise. Mm. Or even Little Hyacinth. Oh, Little Hyacinth. He sees me as a wife, a woman. And as a woman, I must make these difficult choices for myself and for my child. Drop the bone. Harsh. Mm. Don't snap at that. <laughs> it's true, <laughs> though. She's mean. Uh, she is not in the moral high ground here. Oh, no. She is deceiving a man. Yeah, it's terrible. Ain't but no now snap. she's. Well, she's realizing it's because she's in love with him. It's still a terrible thing. Yeah. Curse it. What time is it? It's These books seem to have clock. taken possession of you. So those people rely on me to make a living. Simon. Daphne. Again. Sex there scene is. number eighty-five. <laughs> For real. I knew, I was like on a desk. It's gotta happen at some point, right? He's getting his little nothing. That one was a quickie. Yeah, real fast. See, I can see why she asked if they're hurting. All he doing. Yeah. Make sure not to get it on the paper. On the paper. <laughs> or throw it in her face. Uh, that was just a stress reliever for him. After no, truly, his, it was. After his day. Is she gonna? He's like, what's in there? Uh, Your grace, see that the servant's poison. You know how put hot sauce in I know where you're She's like, what is this? <laughs> Once you see the playback, I looked at you like, no grace, way. She just might, song, though. Run for me. No embarrassment. Explain it to me. Precisely. She gonna plot she thought and scheme. he was barren, but he wasn't. Communicate, communicate, talk it out. Bah. He said none at night or in the morning. They don't talk enough for me. They need to. They they don't communicate enough. Well, yeah, we knew that before. I know. <laughs> That's my problem with them. Mm -hmm. And I hate when lust overpower love. Uh huh. Cause that where they. That's the realm that they're in right now. That thing be killing me <laughs> in that wind. <laughs> Have a talk now. He has to talk face. Are you ready for bed, my dear? Keep your or she won't. Oh, let, this feels haunting. Like, I like it the does. Yeah. I'm like, what if she like I tries like to visuals. like not let him pull out, and then he's all upset? Mm. I think she might do that. That's what I'm expecting to happen. She's gonna seduce him. <laughs> Taking down her hair. How's her hair curly? It confused. I don't get it. <laughs> braid. I think it's from the hair tie. Yeah, from the braids. Mm -hmm. What braid? She had a braid on right now. Girl, you better go on top and control that thing if you really want a baby yeah. at this point. Oh Is she gonna like wrap her legs around him so he can't? Maybe. I think she might. Woman on a mission. Guys. Whoa! I knew it. Their bed is really unstable. <laughs> it's just shaking in the background. She's gonna do it. And she's all shook. I am. I'm shook. <laughs> She like a G. Yeah. She's or like, okay, I got what I wanted. She just R worded him. <laughs> Stutter. She's like, I got what I wanted. What, what, what did you do? I'd hoped it was not true. 
I trusted you more than anyone in this world, and you took advantage. You seized an opportunity, and so I did the very same. I told you I cannot give you children. Cannot and will not are two entirely mm. different things. I was prepared to die on that dueling field. Rather than marry you and take your dream away, I would have died for you. You were the one who insisted on this union. You told me I was enough. Yeah. Before I knew you. Do you know I even felt pity for you? You do not lie to the one you love. You do not trick the one you love. You do not you know, humiliate just, I don't the know, one you love. Literally just... He or never explained fair, why or his past or anything like that, and they got married. But and that's the problem. Yeah, no they, they fell, they fell, they, fell, they, fell, they married with flames, not with truth. makes us wonder mm -hmm. if the price we pay is ever worth the fight. This is very relatable to people in today, like yeah. how people get together. And still don't talk. we love mm -hmm. have the power to inflict the greatest so scars. For what thing is more yeah, fragile yeah. Than the human heart. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Yay. I'm glad they're friends again. Yeah. <laughs> this is getting me chills. Tell them yeah, about her like, Aww. This is getting me chills. <laughs> hmm. Very good scene. The bond like, no between dialogue, man and bride yeah. is private. Mm. What is it? Uh oh. I'm gonna tell him the truth. You have been had, sir. Miss Marina Thompson is with child. And she has been from the very first day she arrived in our fair oh city. Oh my gosh. Wow. But I would wager many will see It looks so dark again. <laughs> Beginning of the episode, we're like, it's, everything's perhaps so bright. She's ordered her only option, or perhaps she knows no shame. But I ask you, can the ends ever justify such wretched means? Wow. What? How did um? How did Whistle Down find out? Well, I guess saying. we'll have to see. We got two episodes left. Let's get into our closing thoughts. Wow, that was intense. All right, so Swish, that was a whole lot. Thoughts of the episode, y'all? Mm. Emotional. Yeah. Yeah. It was a sex. lot of emotion. Yeah, the sex, <laughs> in, for it was, sure. It was like. S -E 25% of the episode was sex. I told yeah, you. I told you. Yeah, but man, it seems like they can never be happy because like they were happy for that short bit. Mm -hmm. And then it's like now there's like But it's like again. they're just sex. They don't talk. They just sex. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah. And they just sex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That ending, it's like, it's very mixed. Because like, yeah, she had a point. He wasn't explicit with her yeah. about like the details, but like, if anything, in my mind, she's more wrong than he is. Cause I feel like he has some deniability. Like he told her no kids and he doesn't necessarily know how much she doesn't know. He knows that she doesn't know things, but he doesn't know how much she doesn't know. She went in fully cocked with all the information yeah. and fully cocked uh, with all the information and yeah. R worded him essentially. Yeah. Like he, he he's saying, wait, 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 Daphne. And, and then, like, I think he the, did say wait. The indication of that, too, is like after he fell back into his stuttering. And, oh. yeah. and, and like he was like a helpless child again. And, oh, no. Yeah. I don't like And that. then afterwards, you're just like, goodbye. And I was like, what? You got what you wanted and left. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's, it's messy. Yeah. Yeah, it's very messy because, like, we, she did go into it knowing that yeah. he didn't, you know, everything. They, he was very, he wasn't as open as he could have been, but. Yeah, you know, exactly. He ended up, you know, telling her, you know, a partially, you know, yeah. I cannot give you children. Yeah. That was the baseline. It shouldn't have been how or what. I feel it was just like, yeah. there was just no children. I cannot give you children. Like, yeah. But I feel like for them to be married, he should have said, look, it's not the fact that. Yeah. And he should have gone into depth on mm -hmm. why he does not want to give her children. For sure. Yeah. You know, like, 
and this is where we go down to the communication aspect. Yep. You know, like he needs to be 100% transparent and then she yep. needs to be 100% clear on the things that she don't know because he does know that she's not, you know, fully advanced in, yeah. you know, things sexually. Yeah. You know, but at the same time, you know, she went as one of her servants. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why couldn't they have that talk? Like, even when she found out, it's like, we need to have a talk before we have sexy time. We need to talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Instead of doing what she did, you know? She was being, yeah, and I feel like both of them are in a very vulnerable moment mm -hmm. right now, and this is just messy. Yeah. Of, like, I feel like, like they both have right to feel hurt. It's just... And, like, I hate, like, oppression Olympics when people are like, well, my life is harder because of this. No, my life is hard. But, like, if we're if we're comparing the two, I feel like she's more of the wrong. Than, but I do feel like they're both wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just, like, levels. Well, <laughs> but she, she went in there, like, testing. Like, she maybe did. I'm going to give him one last chance. Maybe, like, I got this whole thing wrong. Mm -hmm. My servant doesn't in know. There and it. I'm going to yeah. see and test and... And yeah. that's when she was like, okay, like, it was all true, and this is how babies are made, and he's like, choosing not to. Like you said again, the eyes, she was a woman control. on a mission. Yeah. Well, the way she took their hair down, like you said, like, <laughs> you know, she took their hair down, took that dress off, and she meant business. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's like the first time we see her on top. And... Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> it was nasty, crazy. Nasty, nasty. Not a fan. Of what? Of the relationship of, so far. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even before the marriage. Yeah, that's, it was that's why it ended. It started with bad communication and like lots of things, and it's still there. Because yeah. like, why would it change? Yeah, that's Not true. A fan it right was now. like 50 50, and then it went to 100% because we were happy that they like finally worked things out, but then now it's at like yeah. 50. It's like, but did they? All they did was have sex. I don't know. Yeah, they, they didn't. He said, I burned for you. She said, I burned burn for, for you. you. And then they, and then they had sex. sex and sex and sex and sex. And sex and sex and sex. Mm, and now they're back, so like the honeymoon sex period is wearing off. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah, mean, they had a lot of it, though. They, yeah. Yeah, they had a lot of yeah. it. They scored off the card. <laughs> yeah, in the field, in the table, in the bedroom, in, <laughs> in the, the rain. The rain. Mm -hmm. They had a whole sex montage. <laughs> yeah. And then had sex true. two more times after the montage. Yeah, yeah. indeed. Yeah. I, liked, I liked all their performances. All of them were like very grounded, very stayed in it. Mm -hmm. Like, very not blinky. I liked how that switch was though because if we're talking about how you go into the acting yeah like how you know in the beginning sex scene she was really like you know you know just it was very pleasuring like how you mm -hmm. said earlier but and then how she came in that room how that switch like, happened and she was just very demanding yeah woman like, on a mission it was in it was very good acting mm -hmm. on her part yeah mm -hmm. her eyes really are they do a lot of work yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, she's a great actress. Mm -hmm. Like, you saw the switch. Yeah. After she got that information from the servant, mm -hmm. she was Very like, vindictive. That's yeah. Nice. yeah. I feel like that's the perfect word, which why... I could see if it was, like, a more innocent thing, but, like, it felt, like, vindictive. So. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. why... I feel like that's why I have more problem with it, because I feel like if she was innocently trying to figure it out in there, it, it was... You know, I was going to say, it, it would still feel weird... Um, because I, I think that's where the vindictiveness came in. Her not getting off or her, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. I feel she, like. She felt mm -hmm. betrayed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It wasn't about her at all. I thought like, you know, if they had done the act and then afterwards she was like, oh man, that felt so great and just stayed with him and stuff. But then it was just like, I got what I need, bye. And I was like, yeah. okay, so this wasn't even to be close or to be intimate. It was yeah, just. It was, to uh, prove yeah. your point. It yeah. was, uh, yeah, I feel like vindictive is the perfect yeah. word. Yeah. It felt it. very it like, ooh. Yeah, it felt yeah. very not but right. As an actor, like like you said, he went back to being a child. As an actor, that was so like good, I didn't notice that. With the bills and being the count. Yeah. Oh, right, the, he was the, just the doing, all, doing all the work. All the man work, mm -hmm. and, then yeah. and then he's he like, well, what later. did you do? And it's like, oh gosh. I didn't even realize that. I didn't even notice that. It was subtle, which is yeah, yeah. Which is good, good acting. Subtle things. Yeah. Are well, since subtle I knew this acting. was coming, that's why, like in the beginning, I was like, "Oh, his stuttering," and then I feel like Natasha says something like, "Oh, it's when he like goes back to feeling unsure by himself." Uh, and I made sure to get that in y'all's minds because I, I I've seen the season, so I knew that this was coming. Uh, like oh, that, okay. it's a real like I didn't important even thing for it. his character. Yeah, I don't think strange. I noticed it either my first time watching, mm -hmm. but like you know 
the Twitter detectives notice everything. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh. I and then I went Twitter. back and saw the scene. Huh? I didn't know you'd be on Twitter. Yeah. It's called X. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Twitter, or X, formerly known as Twitter. Uh, even for like our social handles, I have like the Twitter bird and then I have an X over it. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not really, but to answer your question, I don't like post much. I just like scroll and oh, yeah. stuff. Same uh, thing on Twitter. But Twitter, Twitter yeah. It's, like, the Twitter detectors told me and then I went back and saw it and I was like, oh, oh gosh. Because mm. yeah, it, because it is so subtle. Yeah. But yeah, really nice details. I feel like that's his whole show in general. Like, really great details and stuff. Yeah. I feel like they go in with like a mission and execute it really well. Mm-hmm. But to go into the acting with the two actors, um, to get once we get before we get off of them, because I know we're about to get off to all the people, um, their chemistry is top tier. They have it very, the very, very, very yeah. yeah. mm-hmm. chemistry together. I'm enjoying you know, the scenes with them together because it just comes off so real and authentic. It's you know, that's yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I had to mention that because... Yeah. I feel like that's why the beginning of this episode was so nice. Just seeing them, like, happy and just really... Mm-hmm. Because they do, even when they're, like, arguing, they have a chemistry. It's a so chemistry. to see that, like, the happy chemistry, it's like, oh, it's nice. Yeah. Because so nice. they're usually arguing. Yeah. I like them walking in the field when they're just talking. I mean, there was a miscommunication of why no children, but, like... But there was just this love for one another. He's like, I only thought of you, and I was thinking of you, and I was holding the tape. I'm like, oh, like. Mm-hmm. I think but, like the innocence of that. Yeah, and that their their care for one another too. Yeah. Yeah, and they're both zoned in. Mm-hmm. Truly. Really. But um, yeah, that's all I gotta yeah. say about them too. Are you yeah. gonna say something on that? Like, I wonder if they're zoned in because they're both really giving actors. I feel like when there's good chemistry. Like they both are like really good actors and very giving actors, mm-hmm. so it just bounces off like rapid fire, yeah. where you don't even notice it. It just mm-hmm. seems so authentic, mm-hmm. so very authentic when you're not yeah. worried about yourself. Yeah. You're what about your your scene partner? Yeah. Right. What does being a giving actor mean exactly to for people at home? I guess. For people at home, uh, it means don't just worry about your lines. It's like you're focusing on your scene partner. Yeah, basically. your partner no, is more important than you you're... saying your lines or like what is going on with you. You're more worried about like your partner, so you're you're, you're giving them much to play off. Yeah. Like you make them it's look about good. them. Yeah. yeah. So you're actively listening, and then they're saying mm-hmm. words, and then like you give those words back and keep mm-hmm. up like fully instead of like. Giving the lines and being somewhere, yeah. somewhere else. Thinking about your next yeah. line. Yeah. Like, yeah. okay, I just said my line. I'm thinking about what I have to say yeah. next and not and even really paying attention listening. to what's going yeah. on. Yeah. Your, your calculations, your move, your character. Yeah, because you have these, what you're worried about. Yeah, no, because you have the actors that only read their lines. Mm-hmm. And you have the actors that read the entire script. Mm-hmm. Which one you got to think? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, you should always be the actor that reads the entire script. Like, who are you to not read? Yeah. Even if you're not in... You know, episode five whatsoever. You sh- you need to be reading mm-hmm. those pages of episode episode five. You need to stay on track. Yeah, you need to stay in it nice. at all times. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Okay. Um, uh, Who I else? guess Marina and Colin and it's a good, uh, what's her name? It's a good segue. Penelope. Ooh, the drama. Yeah. It's about to go down. Mm. Yeah. Also, yeah. miscommunication on their part, but like truly, very much purposeful on. Marina's end. Yeah. I feel like Penelope's, um, her, like, initial, like, to talk about, like, the letters, you know, when she can't, I feel like, how can I say this? Because it's too late, Mm -hmm. unfortunately. Yeah. You know, like, she got the tea too late about the uh-huh. the letters being fraud. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fraudulent. You know, and now it's coming off as desperation. I hate that for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's oh, true. Yeah, she's feeling desperate as That was episode. super, yeah. You know, and then, you know, unfortunately, they were already packed up, ready to move yeah. and go. Yeah. And she's talking about the letters. At this point, it really doesn't <laughs> matter, you know? Yeah. I still feel bad for her, though. I think I just feel for her. She... Yeah. Yeah, like she's trying to be a good person, and this is some, even without the crush. Like this is somebody that she cares about, mm, yeah. and you're deceiving Maybe. them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree. There was a lot of truth in her monologue, but I feel like the way it was delivered mm-hmm. was harsh. Oh yeah, no, for sure. But I think it was purposely harsh too. Yeah, really desperate. Yeah. 
Oh, and that scene really, like you said, that scene, that scene with um, Penelope and Eloise. I was like, Ooh. oh, I like, love I, I that. I cried. I thought I thought that's what's happening when you were rubbing your eyes. Yeah, yeah, no, I cried, but like just a little bit. And when I wiped it away, my eyes were burning, and then I couldn't stop <laughs> wiping away because they kept burning and watering. And I was like, it wasn't this bad, like you know, sad. I was just like, oh, yeah. it's burning. You're like, oh! I know. Yeah. I was like, like maybe it's that hot Cheeto. Like the leftovers. Yeah. yeah, so No, it did like, actually. It's so funny. Like, sometimes. Like, I feel like I've said a lot that, like, I feel like I'm able to detach from stuff. And generally, when I'm watching it myself, I am very detached. But for some reason, when I'm watching with y'all, like, I feel the emotions me. more. Because, like, that scene, I've seen it before. But I was like, ooh. I didn't cry. But I I felt, like, the, you know, the emotion behind yeah. it. I was like, oh. You probably heard me down here saying, mm. Because yeah. I'm, I'm, like, really, like, I, I, like I'm so, I love when, when, like, shows catch me in a way to where I can feel emotional yeah. toward it. Mm-hmm. But it's hard for me to cry. It's hard for me to get that actual physical like emotional connection yeah. it's always just internally mm-hmm. you know i like i'll get the chills in my body like sometimes i'll like get a little overheated but mm-hmm. i'm just like i want to get to that point to where i can just let loose and let go mm-hmm. and just mm-hmm. allow myself to cry yeah. but also yes. acting wise i don't think crying equals a good performance it's very like, true for, yeah. for like if you're saying that for your like, your acting like, no you just for like up. looking though okay like, yeah but in general mm-hmm. It, do, it doesn't equal a good performance to just Never. to be crying. To say, oh, I can cry on cue, but if you still get, like, that's not acting, that's crying. If you, like, you could, you should be able to make people feel the emotion without even having to go to tears, and then tears is just, like, an extra bonus. The know? tears are for the are for the people watching. The tears yeah, are it, sometimes not for you. And that's the part that, you know, that's really what a lot of actors don't realize is that, you know, you can make so many people cry from just, you know, feel like allowing yourself the passion to just exude out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's even without it, even if you don't get there, a good performance is still a good performance. So, mm-hmm. like, I can still feel, like, if she, I felt her emotion walking into it, even without the tears. And I feel like that's the note of a good performance. Even if you don't have tears, you can still feel it. Yeah, yeah, truly. Yeah. But yeah, that scene with them too, you know, it. Um, I loved it, you know, it, it made me happy because, you know, I think that was one relationship in this um, show that I did want to be resolved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, because both of them, I feel like both of them don't, don't really, like they have their family, but they're not really connected yeah, to their family. Yeah, they don't fit into them. They're, they're both outcasts. Yeah, they're, 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 they're misunderstood, exactly. They're not understood. And I feel like they are, there, this is a relationship in this um, show that need, they, they need each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. so I was really happy to see them come together. I'm glad yeah. it, it didn't take a, like a whole season for them to come back together yeah. as friends. Mm-hmm. I was really happy for that. It does make me feel a little like in this and in life, like you only come to me now again when you're hurting mm. so I, I, I have a little but bit of I that but I feel like that's what friends like are thing. for though even if you are mm-hmm. super mad at each other yeah. if something does happen you should Traumatic. feel comfortable yeah. 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 yeah yeah. I agree with that too it's just hard because she's the one who told off Eloise and then she's coming to her crying yeah, it's yeah. like hey yeah, exactly. bro like, like, you're the one who did the mean know. thing and now it's like oh I'm still gonna ignore you but now that I'm hurting now I'm coming back to you yeah. no lie but I do still I. It, it's like a mixed thing I feel I feel what you're saying as well yeah. Yeah. I but I exactly. also feel like a uh, yeah. yeah. I'm Hopefully feeling they exactly. Talk it out. I hope so, but yeah. I feel exactly what both of you guys are saying because it does feel like you know it's all about her. Yeah, mm. you know it's very one sided yeah. right one-sided now, mm-hmm. and which is. When it first happened, we were saying, like, it's the opposite way. So I'm sure they'll figure it out. I but, like, so. I feel like at the beginning, it was always about Eloise. Eloise. Mm. And so it's, it's true. like, it's true. you it's know. True. It's, yeah. Scales they both are going through their hardships, so we just have to, yeah. I, I guess we just have to let, let it play out as yeah. 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 right now. Exactly. But I think, I like their relationship, though. Yeah. yeah. They're good. They're good for each other. Yeah, they're young, too. They're young. Oh, but any assumptions on uh, what it would come for Marina and Colin? No. Uh, any any feelings about their situation? Even uh, double What ass. can be? <laughs> What can oh, be done? Maybe he'll still want to marry her? Ooh. I don't know. I don't seem very confident. Because no. I feel like that was the theme in this episode. Like yeah. A lot of betrayal, a lot mm-hmm. of realization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. I don't know. 
know. I guess we'll really see how yeah. much of an upstanding I, guy he is to her, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. and a- after the circumstance. Mm-hmm. After how much he loves her and likes her, and then if she can still be, like, explain, like, oh, like, he left me, and he's mm-hmm. not interested in this kid. How but open I'm he interested is in you. But how does it make But is she... Do you think she's actually interested in him for no, him or I mean, for that may be her story for the predict? But like I'm asking, do you think? Mm. No, she no. or she's, she's just sweet, like trying to win. she's it's trying to win. She's making the best out of her it's situation. It's her way out. Yeah, yeah it's, her way, like it's out. her way out. It's yeah. her way to have yeah. that stability. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. kind. And sweet, Husband. yeah, someone that's not gonna leave her, you yeah. know. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, the letters have been. We don't like what. What are the letters saying? Because he's been sending. Well, no, she's not. She hasn't gotten any letters from him since she. Got the there. mom was George. hiding them, no. No, no I don't no, think no, there no. have been. Because no, because no, Penelope was daily going to before oh, she was yes, going to see it. if there were messages, yeah. mm-hmm. and there was nothing yeah. until the one from the mom. Yeah, came. they just know mm-hmm. the last one's a forgery. Now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So it's hard. I think those were the only two. Yeah. Like, I don't think anything else happened. Yeah. Oh, I guess a little, a little bit with Daphne and, like, the townspeople, but yeah. that got figured out within the episode. Yeah. And her and the head maid lady, I don't know what she's called. Oh, yeah. But that kind of got figured out. So all you got to do is butter people up. Yeah. yeah. Make them feel good. Touch her <laughs> hand. Five, touch her hand five yeah. seconds after the hand touch. She was like, so the last dude, he, I know and I thought right. he had weak C, <laughs> so... Yeah. <laughs> Like she, yeah. her guard fell down quick. That's good. I was surprised. Yeah, especially because yeah. she was so judgmental. Like yeah. this is so not proper. Tight. I thought it'd be a few episodes before she, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, those pink curls were just up to yeah. yeah. It just was knew. funny when you said that because at first I was like, "What?" and then I was like, "Oh wait, no, she's right." Like that's yeah, it's that showing dude. her personality how tight. how tight she is. Yeah. Tight, yeah, yeah. Didn't even want her to pick her own lavender. She's yeah. like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, always the hair. Hair speaks volumes. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's what Ramona was trying to say with the uh, Scott Pilgrim. Because mm-hmm. she kept doing uh, with, yeah, yeah. with the messy hair. You did. With her changing well, her hair color. Yeah, the changed hair color. Yeah. You like, did. Yeah, it speaks that. a lot about your personality. Ah. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Any any other thoughts on the episode? No. No. Good episode. Honestly. Yeah. 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 How many episodes are there? Eight. So we've got two more. Only two. Two more. How are they gonna wrap this thing up? Cancel and see. Any 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 other other final thoughts? No. No, no, no we all good. Right. Yeah. Well, let's wait on Ready it. Ready to get back. Okay, y'all. Thanks for joining us for our reaction and review of season one, episode six of Bridgerton Swish. And I'm glad we figured out what that was. Yeah. Uh, that be part. sure to uh, catch us for the next episode, episode seven, Oceans Apart. Oh, that feels symbolic of the relationship. Aww. Okay. Uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Share it with your friends and family. And if you have already for some weird reason subscribe okay if you'd like to further support the channel and gain access to early and uncut reactions including Bridgerton the link to join our patreon is in the description box see ya bye, bye. bye.